So I'm in the middle of building a new love cage for my black soldier flies. They have the um, glass terrarium that they can fly around in, but um, I do want to get them some more ventilation and a little bit more space to fly around in. So I just need to put a little front on here, find a way to uh, get into it and then just put some netting on it, like um, the net netting for a screen door. And now I gotta figure out how to put dirt on the bottom and um, provide a place for them to lay eggs. And I'll be all done with it. I'll show you the progress later. I made some progress on my black soldier fly love cage, but I ran out of supplies. I need a screen to go here. This side's completely finished. The back side has a screen on it and that's doing well. And on this side I only have a partial screen. So I'm waiting until my supplies get here so I can finish the front of it. And then hopefully um, I can put my black soldier fly maggots in here, my larva, and they won't try to escape. <clears throat> I'll put a plant in there too. And then, yeah, I don't know what else. I'll put a plant, I'll put a, um, an attractant for them to lay eggs and a water source and perhaps some sticks for them to rest on. They're definitely gonna have more ventilation because this is all, you know, air flowing through. It's better than the cage I have right now. It's all just uh, glass and it's quite restricting to them. Um, anyway, my project is on hold until I get more supplies. I'll keep you posted. Because I am waiting for the rest of my screen to show up to finish the last side of my um, love cage over here for my black soldier flies. I've made some upgrades. I put some plants in the bottom of it um, so they have some greenery to rest on. I put a bar on the side over here with the cardboard uh, rest in there. The flies prefer to lay eggs in all these little crevices over here. As the eggs hatch, they, were, I, they will either fall in here in a bucket where I have um, some cornmeal and some chicken manure. I cover the cornmeal with a napkin because I find that when flies fall into it, their wings get stuck and all wet and just they can't fly anymore. Um, I don't think they're the smartest things. However, I covered it with a napkin so they can still smell it and they can smell the chicken manure. And I also created a ramp in here. So if and when there's any maggots in there, they can go ahead and crawl up on the ramp and then fall into the space where I can just go ahead and fetch them for my chickens. Um, I either plan to let the eggs hatch in here, drop down, or I will harvest the eggs. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see how the system works. So this is the latest update on my black soldier fly love cage. And like I said, I'm still waiting for my netting to come in to finish up the front side and the right side. And then we'll be done. So I just got finished um, sifting my worm bin. Not only am I very satisfied with the amount of castings I received again, but I also discovered quite a few black soldier fly larvae. Um, I'm excited about that because I just upgraded my black soldier fly love box and I put some netting all around. I'll show you the inside over here. provided them with a few plants and that's cornmeal soaked in water with a net above it and so they can't drown in it. I've got their cardboard on the sides where they can lay their eggs if they so wish and it's nice and roomy. They can fly around. Um, it's aerial so it's got air going through all four sides of my box. I'm excited to find these black soldier fly larvae in my worm bin uh, because it's good to know even if my flies escape that they lay their eggs kind of close by so I can still harvest them and start a new generation or feed them to my chickens. So I'm going to go add them to 
my form and then can go ahead, dig under the dirt, find their food, pupate, and turn into flies.